वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ माई लेक्चर टू कॉन्टेंट बिफोर कमिंग टू दिस वीडियो आई एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू मस्ट हैव सीन प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाउ कैन यू बेसिकली डिजाइन टू बिट ए सिंक्रोनस डाउन काउंटर द कॉन्सेप्ट रिमेन द सेम सो वी आर यूजिंग केस टू वेर आई सेड द आउटपुट वुड बी टेकन अक्रॉस द सेम टर्मिनल्स एज फॉर अप काउंटर the queue for output remains same and uh, whereas if uh, whereas if we talk about the clock pulse clock pulse is given from q bar instead of q instead of q now i will repeat the same process but uh, right now we are doing it for 3 bit asynchronous counter so let us start with my clock pulse because from timing diagram only i will come to know what is the behavior of the circuit so let us start with the clock pulse and since it is having uh, you can say eight states so there must be more than eight clock pulses which are changing from 1 to 0 because again as you can see in the circuit there is a bubble so it is a negative triggered circuit Again, I have to note down one to zero transition. So one, two, three, four, five, eight are eight are compulsory and two are extra to check that the uh, sequence is getting repeated. So this is your clock pulse. And again, uh, the initial values, initial values of Q two, Q one, Q naught are zero, zero, zero. All flip flops are reset. and already i have told you in previous videos wherever you are giving a clock pulse that acts as lsb so clock pulse is given to q not so q not is your lsb then uh, after clock pulse uh, since this is related to our q not we are ready for our q not so q not is going to toggle the value from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 wherever your clock pulse is basically you can say uh, moving from 1 to 0 so this is your q not now again q not is not uh, q not is not the clock pulse for the second stage if i look at the second stage the clock is coming from q not bar so i should be interested in q not bar then q not bar will be the opposite of q not so if this is 0 this value should be 1 and if this value q not value is 1 this should be 0 so simply we have to draw a wave form that is completely opposite of that is completely opposite of q not now in this q not again i will note down where is 1 to 0 transition why are we noting 1 to 0 transition it is because the triggering that we are having is what the triggering that uh, we are having is negative so once uh, we know the q not is acting as a clock that is now ready for us in the timing diagram now we are ready for output q1 and again initial value of q1 was 0 so the value will toggle from 0 to 1 whenever q not bar is moving from 1 to 0 so initially value was 0 and from 0 we are moving to 1 then 0 then again 1 again 0 then again like this so this is my q1 then same thing here also this q1 this q1 is not acting as a clock pulse what is clock pulse for the third stage is q1 bar so if this is q1 then what must be q1 bar q1 bar will be the opposite if this is starting from 0 this will start from 1 so this is my q1 bar again let us note down where are we moving from 1 to 0 now this q1 bar is ready and so we are ready for q2 the final output so let us draw q2 and initial value of q2 again is 0 so from 0 we move to 1 from 1 we move to 0 and that's it 
so this is 0 to 1 1 to 0 and uh, then again now finally if I check my output if I check my output my output is coming from q2 q1 q0 so let me copy this timing diagram now finally I will extrapolate my values as per the clock pulse values only and uh, so we are heading towards our final step let us observe the sequence so it is 1 let me use uh, black so it is 1 1 1 so q2 q1 q0 initial values were 0 0 0 that is reset now you see it is 1 1 1 then it is 1 1 0 that is 6 1 0 1 that is 5 1 double 0 that is 4 then 0 1 1 so we are getting 0 1 1 then 0 1 0 so it is 0 1 0 then we are having 0 0 1 0 0 1 and finally we are having 0 0 0 and if you see 0 0 0 means you are repeating the sequence so you can see here again it is triple 1 then 1 1 0 and so on so 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and again 7 so it is acting as a 3 bit asynchronous down counter now what i want you to do is uh, try it for 4 bits as your homework i will see you in the next video where i will be designing a circuit that will be acting as up counter as well as down counter depending upon what is the value of the control bit so revise your notes and uh, do raise your doubts in the comment section till then god bless you all and thank you